What's up, YouTube? Today I'm doing an unboxing of the Bobcat Miner 300. This is for a cryptocurrency mining device, which I got into cryptocurrency earlier this year, and ever since then I've been focusing a lot on that, so I haven't made a whole lot of videos, but this one I thought, oh, this will be cool. A uh, good segue into cryptocurrency and what I've been doing over the past few months. And it mines helium, just using the uh, helium network. Uh, I won't go into too much detail here since I'm just doing the unboxing. And then I'll also do the setup. You'll get to see what I go through. These are very difficult to get a hold of. I ordered this back in April. It just got here today. That's pretty crazy. I mean, it's August 13th, Friday. So today it's been a lucky day for me. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get started and then we'll get this thing set up. I actually ordered two, one for myself and one for my parents. I'm hoping that I'll be able to find somebody near me that I can connect up with. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Here's, let me just show you the sides of the box. It's not too fancy. This is how it came. It's not sealed in plastic or anything. It came in a cardboard box straight from Hong Kong. As soon as I got the shipping confirmation, it was on its way. I was really surprised because it got here pretty quickly once that happened. So the only way I was able to purchase this was doing a purchasing some USDT cryptocurrency and then sending that over to them. And it was kind of, uh, it was frustrating just waiting for that whole thing to come through and then not hearing anything for several months. It was kind of frustrating. So a lot of people have had that with Bobcat, but they delivered. Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. So there's a little quick troubleshoot guide. Oh, I thought that was attached. Sorry. Yeah. Some Bob Bobcat miners do's and don'ts. Don't place the miner out in the heat and cold. They do make an outdoor case that you can put this in, but again, that doesn't protect you from heat and cold. So anyway, it will keep it from rain, but not heat and cold. So there's that. There's a quick start guide on the front cover there. Cool, here we go. What do we got? Nice, warranty card. Quality inspection tested. That was July 31st, 2021. So only a few weeks after that, it showed up at my, not even two full weeks. It was tested and now it's at my home. So you got a little antenna here. It's weighted. So it gives it some weight there so it won't kind of fall over. Uh, I'm not sure how long that cord is, but I would think about a meter or so. Got your power supply. There we go. Let's see, I think this is, it's 12 volt, one amp. And from what I understand, it consumes like less than 10 watts, maybe five, somewhere in there. Um, Okay, that's the antenna. This is the base that just screws on there. And then obviously this would screw into the miner here. Here we go. Let's see what this looks like. Bobcat. Nice. My lighting's off. I was too excited to set up lighting and everything, so I apologize for the shadows. Here's a rear view of it. You've got antenna, there's a button, the TF card and a COM port. And it says here that those are not used. So I don't know, maybe it's for future improvements or something. Ethernet port and that's where your power goes, 12 volt. This is a little mining, I'm sorry. Mounting, not mining, mounting plate. So you can attach that to a wall and then pop that on there. It's nice. Cool. 
What else is in here? A few mounting screws and that. Oh, I see. It goes on the bottom of here maybe to keep it from sliding around. There you go. Awesome. Okay. So there you have it. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and attach everything. I already have the application installed because I was kind of looking around my area to see if there were any other hot spots. So let me get that started and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this says to first, it tells you to use the ethernet cable instead of Wi-Fi, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna do use Wi-Fi and then later I will connect it to ethernet. You will have to reboot it to do that change, but I wanna go ahead and get started. So um, you'll get to see what I go through and how painful it might be. I don't know, some people have a lot of issues with it. It takes a long time before it syncs up to, with the network, those types of things. But anyway, um, it does say to attach your antenna before powering the unit on. So we'll make sure we do that. A little protective uh, things on top of the screws here. So I'm gonna remove those. <clears throat> Got one here, Got one on the base, and then, well, there's not one there, but there is one on the miner itself. So we'll pull that off. Screw this cable right into the back here. Ah, sorry about that. So I'll just kind of tighten that up by hand, and then I'll come back and Tighten it all the way. All right. There's the antenna. Let's screw that on. There we go. Excellent. Now, I have ordered an, a larger antenna, um, but for now, that's what I'm gonna use. Let's see what happens with that. First, you download the application, so you just go to your app store. Okay, so I've got the app pulled up. It says My Spot Hotspots. You haven't added any or followed any hotspots yet. So it says add hotspot. So I'll do that. All right, and then it says choose your hotspot. What kind of hotspot do you have? So my hotspot, I have a lot now, is the Bobcat Miner 300. So I'll go ahead and choose that. All right, placing your hotspot. Give me a nice view. Hotspots love places where they can see plenty of sky and spaced at least 300 meters away from other hotspots. Don't hide me. Hotspots shouldn't be in a nightstand or on a bookcase. Put next to a window instead. Buildings may block my signals. Nearby buildings may decrease your hotspots coverage for nearby devices. Finally, I hate bug screens. Try to keep your hotspot away from metal meshes. So I have, it's more like a plastic or something. I don't know. All right. So I've read the guide, right, diagnostics, I understand. Power up, plug the pro provided power adapter into an outlet near a window and unscrew the provided antenna. On the back of the hotspot, the hotspot is ready to go when the light goes from red to yellow. All right, so I'm gonna move this to a window and I'll be right back. There we go. Okay, now you can see it's red. All right, plug in the provided power adapter into an outlet near the window and screw in the provided antenna. The hotspot is ready when the light goes from red to yellow. Okay, it's yellow. So I'm gonna click I'm powered up. All right, Bluetooth. Use the provided pin to press the Bluetooth button on the back of the hotspot and hold for five seconds. And this is the BT button. Here's my tool, and I'm just going to push this in. One, two, three, four, five. Release. 
now the light is blue. Let's see that. Hopefully. All right, now I'm going to click scan for my hotspot. All right, one hotspot found. Select your hotspot to continue. It shows the uh, MAC address or the last few bits of it. All right, connecting to the Bobcat Miner 300. See the light? It's really difficult to see, but it is blue. All right, now it says configure the network. Select the Wi-Fi network you'd like your hotspot connected to. All right, so I'm going to click on mine. Connecting to the network. Set hotspot location. All right, I'm going to say ask for permission. me up set the location I kind of uh, I guess you could set it somewhere else so it's not right in your actual physical street location because that's kind of creepy I'm just gonna kind of put it a little further away from my actual location set location okay antenna set up uh, so five meters is standard I don't know. I'm just going to do five like it says for now. Click next. All right, location fee. Your location fee, $10, has been prepaid. Confirm the location selected is correct and register your hotspot. All right. Register hotspot. The device is not connected. Okay, so what happened? I don't know. Click OK, and I'm back to the main screen again. So I guess I gotta go through this whole thing over again. So what you just witnessed there was some frustrating time that I had that could have probably been completely eliminated had I just given enough time. I think that once you start that registration process, it takes about 15 minutes or more. The second thing, obviously, is that I must have taken too long. So because I was trying to get everything for the video, I just took too long. Maybe it timed out. I don't know. When I set this up at my parents' house, I just let it sit there. It says you can close the screen, that screen that was spinning, and continue on with anything else that you're doing. But there's really no indication that it's completed what it was doing. So that's kind of frustrating so just make sure you allow at least 15 minutes I would say even more than that maybe just go eat lunch or something and then come back and check you know most of these other videos where I've set up smart devices once they're registered they're there they're in the app and ready to use this was not when I would go back to the app it would act like I didn't even have a hotspot or anything so I think something's going on out there it's still registering I just did not give it enough time but while I was trying to troubleshoot the issue that really wasn't an issue because it was a timing thing, I did find some other cool tools. So one of the things is you can actually get your IP address to your miner through your router, or you're gonna have to do that. Get the IP address, put that IP address in your browser, and then when you do that, you can actually pull up the hotspot. There's a little cool utility let me do that here. So it comes up, shows you the name of your hotspot up at the top. And there's a few different things you can do here. Temperature, minor, that gives you information, explore, onboarding. Kind of the important thing are the blockchain height. That gives you the total number or the highest number of the blockchain right now. And then you can also use that to kind of find out where you're at, because I like to get a status. When you go out on to explore, to look, it says, I'm sorry about that glare, it says uh, sinking, but it doesn't tell you where you're at. With this, 
you can kind of click on the minor button it says slow down sorry and once you do that there's this section over here called height and the second column here it shows what block you're currently at so what's cool about that is you can take that and match it up with the current blockchain and that tells you how much how many more blocks you have to go before you're in sync so if you're like this huge 20,000 you know it's gonna be a while mine actually finished within I would say 36 hours or so so that wasn't too horrible but there's some cool stuff here kinda gives you an idea that way you can at least know that it is working you can see that the blockchain when you go back maybe give it another 30 minutes click on it and just make sure that that number is updating and then you know that it is actually doing something and then eventually I was able to see it on Explore. So if you click on the Explore button, it'll actually link you to Explore with your hotspot name. It'll show you up over here on the map. It'll tell you you're synced or if you're not synced. Another big issue that I ran into is that your hotspot could come up relayed. And if it does that, it can affect your earnings. So you want to make sure you take care of that. And to do that, in my case, I had two things. So one was that I had two hotspots on the same network because I was trying to sync my parents up as well. The second was the port 44158 needs to be open on your router both ways. So there's a cool little website you can go to. It's called portchecker.co. So just click onto that portchecker.com not com I'm sorry portchecker.co like I said the first time you go into that it'll actually find your external IP address and then you just put in the port that you want to check so if I wanted to check port 80 I can click port 80 well of course it's closed so if I put in 44158 it's open and that's because I opened it so if you come up closed after you're syncing, your miner may come up and say relayed. So this is the first thing I would check. Go here, check the port. If it shows it's closed, you need to look up. There's plenty of videos and whatnot to see how to set that up in your router. My parents had a Linksys router. I was able to do it there without any problem. I'm using uh, Unify and it wasn't difficult in there so I'm sure you could just do a Google search find out how to open that port so those are my two tips make sure that you're patient that's the biggest thing and then I would say probably another 24 hours after that I got my first 0 .01 HNT so I earned 0 .01 HNT after about a day so and then I got two more payouts as well so that's kind of cool it's kind of exciting to see that I am in a, a rural area where there's not a lot of hot spots around me all right so that's all I have I'll probably make a follow-up video to this one just to give an update on my earnings or anything else that I've learned and yeah so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if not give me a thumbs down give me some feedback let me know how I can improve and if you'd like to see other content give me some suggestions on what you'd like to see I hope to make some more videos uh, with cryptocurrency and other things that I'm working on try to give updates on some of the other products like the uh, wise sprinkler controller and all those different things but thank you for watching like subscribe and God bless have a great week peace out.